Hello, hello and good morning. This is Valerie Arsoni, your healthy living and weight loss coach. As you know, on the bootcamp program, I really advise you to drink Sobacha pretty much every single day and all throughout the day. And what is Sobacha really? Well, Soba means buckwheat in Japanese and Cha means tea. That's why sometimes you drink a chai tea which actually means a tea tea, doesn't mean anything really. <laughs> but anyway, buckwheat is good for you because it's full of fiber. And one important one is actually it is hydrosoluble fiber, which means the fibers will be found in the water you will drink, which will in turn curb your appetite. It also contains a ton of rutin, rutin being a very potent antioxidant supporting your cardiovascular functions. Anyway, enough with the talks, let's do it. How how do you buy buckwheat, by the way? Well, you can buy it in the bulk section or you can buy it already roasted. In that case, it is often called kasha. If you don't find it roasted, you buy it in the green form in the bulk section and you just roast it for 10 minutes over a medium heat. This is how it looks like. It looks like this. Little grains. Actually, it's not a grain, it's a seed. Here you go. Some people actually put this in little uh, cloth uh, bags, in the, pop them in the uh, microwave and put them on their eyes to relax the, uh, the eye region. Anyway, once you have your buckwheat, you can prepare it two, in two ways. Either you put buckwheat in a cup like this directly and you will pour hot water on it and steep it for five minutes. Or if you're very lucky and have a teapot like mine, an electric one or a regular teapot, you can put your buckwheat in a little a basket like this or a little bag for tea and then infuse it this way. So you can do it pretty much both ways, knowing that the old fashioned way can be done pretty much everywhere, even when you are camping. So I am pretty much in love with the taste of buckwheat. So I will put three tablespoons for this um, level of, uh, of water I'm going to put in here. But if you're not used to it yet, if you don't like the hazelnut taste, you can also only put two spoons. That would be enough. That's three spoons here. And to make it, it's very easy. I'm just gonna heat my water and put hot water on top of the, the seeds and let it steep for five minutes. If it's four or seven, it doesn't matter. You know, four minutes, the taste won't be as strong. Eight minutes, it will be stronger. It's really up to you. So here we go, water is hot. I'm gonna pour it directly on the buckwheat, the seeds. Let it steep for five minutes. That's the um, old fashioned way. Now, if you're lucky enough to have an electric kettle like that, you can just use your little basket and put the buckwheat in it. I will stick to my three tablespoons, considering I have even more liquid in this one. Actually, this buckwheat was uh, given to me by a good friend who returned from China. So it's uh, right from there. But here, wherever you live, uh, pretty much everywhere in the world, we. Uh, produce buckwheat uh, in the US. It's mainly actually from Canada and the big plains in Europe, every country, mainly Poland actually, but France as well, produces um, buckwheat in Asia, all over Asia. Of course, this is not a South American or African grain or actually seed, but you'll find it pretty much everywhere. So here we go. I'm just gonna put the little basket here and let the whole magic happen for five minutes. So here we go, five minutes later, it's ready. As you can see, this one is a tad bit clearer than this one. It doesn't matter, it's still very good for us. The difference really comes from the fact that here the seeds are floating freely around, so they're releasing a little bit more good stuff for us, but still, this one is amazing. You can drink it right away, or you can put it in the fridge and drink it throughout the day or with ice if it's hot outside, no problem. Uh, one more thing, do not throw away the seeds. And why? Because you know I hate throwing things away. So we are going to reuse the seeds for very, very yummy porridge. But that's the object of the next video I'm going to shoot for you. Have a great day and enjoy your sabacha.